all right i'm nick uh we're out we'll take a little walk today um there's actually baby chickens in the garage and they were you know baby chicks and they were making noises i don't know if that's better than the birds but uh, i didn't think it would turn out too good if i filmed it in there uh, i want to make a follow-up video about the last business the last video about closing the charter business now the parts business has been attached to the charter business so we have to close a portion of the business. Obviously, Navarre kayak fishing is not going anywhere. We're not selling it. Um, and had a lot of questions about producing content and these things. We're going to continue to produce uh, YouTube content. I don't by any means consider myself to be like a hardcore YouTuber. We do a lot more now than we ever did. Just because it's the easiest way to communicate with the masses. If you, a lot of you probably realize I don't really use Facebook anymore. I put that video yesterday on Facebook. But that was on there really to just get information out to a lot of our charter clients uh, who were calling. They were calling every day to schedule charters and had to figure out a way to tell everybody that's not possible. So what's next? And that's really it. We are going to continue to produce content. We're going to go fishing. I never really, was really a big fan of filming the charters uh i felt like it took away from the client's experience i wanted to provide the client the best experience i wanted them to catch fish and i know over the last year we documented a little bit another thing was i'll be honest i didn't want to give away our fishing spots you know a lot of guys who watch the videos and uh <clears throat> they want to know where we're fishing you know and it's a secret those are supposed to be secrets that's how we catch quality fish for years was having areas to ourselves that weren't pressured and you find those places by putting in lots and lots of time so we're going to continue to produce content i will still be going saltwater fishing although i have just been having fun chasing largemouth around it's been entertaining parts the parts business is taking over okay um, it's a lot different than it was two years ago. We produce a lot of parts, ship them all over the world, and it has proven to be the best decision for the business. That's not going to change. I, you know, honestly, we are sitting on probably six different, at least six different parts, right? Uh, even this rod holder, and I finally posted a picture of it yesterday. This is a rod holder for the length. It goes on the seat clip. It's reversible. It goes on either side of the seat. I've been using it a ton. I made that back in early November. Um, it's almost March, right? So we have been so far behind on the production side of business and struggling to keep up that, especially with the move didn't help, that we haven't been able to release a large number of items, okay? There's at least six of them I could think of off the top of my head. And... I mean, what do you do? Like, we can't put ourselves in a spot where we're a week plus behind on orders. We've been there. Um, it's not fun. It's not something I want to do again. So that's that. We're going to continue to continue. Well, we're going to continue to produce uh, YouTube content, videos, whether it's fishing, whether it's parts. And we're going to release a whole bunch of parts. Uh, you know, currently we... Yeah, let's see, we run 12 3D printers, 18 plus hours a day, not always 24, because sometimes I forget to restart them when I go to bed. Uh, that is actually being increased to 16. We run a CNC machine four or five hours a day, five days a week or so. Uh, it's busy. There's a lot going on. Uh, that's not going to change. The charter business, although I wasn't really running a lot of the trips, I spent a, a huge amount of time on the phone scheduling trips, making sure everything was good to go. And I, I just don't have time for it. Um, the charter business did very well. Uh, it wasn't a tough decision to make to close it. Uh, if you know me well, I enjoy business probably more than I enjoy fishing, okay? And it was a business decision. Um, saying it out loud was the tough part, okay? Uh, and it was tough to say. It's tough to tough to close something that you're passionate about that you built from scratch. Uh, but you know you got to do what you got to do, and it's a smart decision that'll pay off in the long run. So I won't ramble. 
Uh, the next video we make will be about this rod holder for the Lynx. I'll upload it on the website because I know there's a bunch of people who've been waiting on it. I've actually sent a few out into the wild. They've been out there being experimented with and tested with. Obviously, no one broke it. Uh, it's pretty strong. But that's that. Content, parts, that's the main focus. Uh, business not going anywhere. Uh, this is how I make a living. This is how I made a living for the last almost decade. So uh, if you have any questions or anything, just... Leave a comment below or shoot me an email at nick at navarkayakfishing.com.